Katie Smith. The Prime Minister promised that no relationship was more important to him than that with Indigenous peoples. That relationship has not been respected in the case of BC's Site C Dam, where there are three ongoing court cases with First Nations. This is a litmus test of the Prime Minister's solemn commitment. And repeated letters from First Nations have been ignored by the Liberals. Will the government please cease and desist on approval for Site C until proper consultation can occur? Here, here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In the fall of 2014, as members know, the former government approved the project and set out a series of legally binding conditions with which the proponent must comply. BC Hydro must meet the requirements set out in these conditions, and we are uh, verifying that that is, in fact, the case. Uh, the Minister has been involved and engaged in discussions with First Nations people and other Indigenous organizations to try to ensure that we are clearly understanding those concerns, and we will continue to engage in that basis going forward. The Honourable Member for Skeena, Bulkley Valley. You have to wonder which First Nations they're engaging with, because the First Nations actually impacted by this mega dam can't even get their letters returned from this government. And it seems to me that there are two Liberal parties, one that's in campaign, makes sacred promises to First Nations people, and one that governs to break them. Now, the question comes for this Liberal government here and now. They are right now in the position of authorizing this mega dam in northeastern British Columbia. First Nations have pleaded with this government not to do so, to pause the process and allow that consultation they promised to actually take place. So which Liberal Party are we actually going to see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. As I said in, in my previous response, this government continues to engage with First Nations and other Indigenous organizations and peoples to ensure that we are developing a nation-to-nation -nation approach. With respect to the specific matter of Site C, that is before the court. I can't comment on the specifics of that, but there certainly are ongoing discussions that are relevant to the broader First Nations and nation-to-nation -nation relationship.